Are we started? Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're now looking at, well, let's explain who we're looking at here. Okay, so this is Aria, my daughter. So she's currently in grade six, but this is the blog that she kept from grade three, four, five. And so we can see that on the About Me page over here, it tracks her. She's ad built on the entry each year. Um, so it's used extensively by the grade three, four, five homeroom teachers. Uh, it's essentially a combination of a blog and the traditional sense of a reflective blog, um, but it's also a place where the students would publish their work as opposed to doing it in um, in a workbook. Often, you know, even something as small as this. So it's a, this is a weekly kind of independent reading thing, and it's simply the responses like the English mm -hmm. teacher mm -hmm. was doing, um, etc. So, um, yeah, she, I think she's, she would probably be averaging around 100 posts a year, I would think, in 345 while she was doing this. Okay. Um, and we used the, the tagged or categorized over here. Mm -hmm. um, and she had a grade four teacher who was really, really good, well organized. <laughs> so we can okay. see Very as a result, result yes. of that, yeah. Um, and then here we can see the portfolio we're talking about. So if we look on, this is from last year. So she has decided she wanted this to be in her portfolio or my hand creating you can see that <laughs> and if I click on that um, we can see that Aria has given us a justification why she felt that mm -hmm. should be there um, and then her teachers left a comment on that there as well um, so the students that just put this into perspective uh -huh. we're a one-to-one -one laptop school uh -huh. and the students have access they have their own laptops yes okay so they um, again they're allowed to post whenever they want they're encouraged at certain times, but they can post whenever they want. Could, could she post about things that's happening outside of school? <laughs> we leave that decision by and large up to the homeroom teachers. Mm -hmm. For instance, there are there are some grade um, some, some grade three kids who, who run a weekly newspaper and they publish it out through their blog. Okay. Right? There are other kids right now doing scratch programming. Their mm -hmm. project plan is to put that on there. But these are not official homeroom okay. programs. So it's but it is a little we also talk about it, it's a school blog, and mm. unfortunately being in China. If we weren't here, we, a lot of these kids would have said, hey, let's make you your own blog to play around with. Yes. Because in, in many ways, this has replaced their school yes. books. Yes. So something, you know. You would give them a second A funny space. Minecraft video? Yeah. No. Maybe not. If you made it, awesome. If you just got it off YouTube, ah, no. So they're not really encouraged to embed or link to other external information sources unless they probably added to their learning experience. Yeah. So it's yeah. not really a fun... They can customise it to a certain point, Absolutely, but really yeah. it's not their play space. Yeah, it's, it's not it's their not play space. Out. And as I said, the, the shame is we'd love to be able to give them a play space as well. We would. So it's, it's a constant fine line that we're treading there. And we it's would. usually with the home room teacher what, what they feel comfortable okay. with. Now, talk to me a little bit about the comments there. So you, you, you've done a big project this year on mm -hmm. sort of advocating for students to... To connect with each other and to read each other's blogs and to comment on them and how, how's that success been? We'll talk a little bit about the study. Yes, let's right. talk a little yeah. bit about the study. Okay, yes. okay. So <laughs> yeah, we so it was around about three hundred of our students. I think we surveyed, and we found it found out that the three around three quarters of them were actively looking at each other's blogs two to three times a week. Um, and also leaving comments. This is probably me by the looks of it. The fastest way I'm, I'm going to use my mm -hmm. um, executive power here. Do you know how to... Oh. Uh, no. So, uh, I thought it was a sex. I thought it was a sex. <laughs> we need a cal you, see, you don't need knowledge anymore. You can just look uh, it up on a calculator. Yeah, exactly. And so exactly. here's her. Okay. Yeah. Um, so d the students are allowed to moderate their own comments. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, students and moderate these comments. Do you have it set up? So this is student comments. Great. Um, student comment. Oh, Catherine from Australia. Excellent. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So um, Aria made a, a power uh, keynote video about apartheid. Yes. And then this woman picked it up off Twitter and she's left her, she's South African. So okay. she left a comment on now, Aria's blog. you talk about Twitter, that isn't there a age uh, restriction on Twitter? Or yeah, I think it dad might have tweeted it for her. Okay, <laughs> so it's a partnership getting onto yeah. those other micro-blogging um, platforms. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, and lots of yes. people outside of China would have Twitter built in here, right? They just... Of course, yeah, which we're, so of course, and one of the things that we're another thing we're restricted about here. Exactly. So there's, there's a lot of... Um, student, student. Great. I'm very active, you see. Um, yes. Student, yeah. So that's something that you really are oh, um, actually, this is a, Who's that? Hi, I'm Quinn. I'm seven. I really like that science project of yours. I liked it so much. I might make it too. Fantastic. Oh, she used Minecraft to show yes. 
conduction, convection and radiation in, inside a house, I think. And I don't know how this kit, this, yeah. So uh, because some, we don't because we don't have these are not Googleable. I know that we no. do take that searching mm -hmm. facility off, and it's not because we don't want them open. No. Um, it's there are other reasons because we're in China. Exactly. That's right. But exactly. normally we would be yeah. advocates for having that Google search. Yeah. Well, Easy Blog Org is Googleable. You know, we have that option to have it on or off, and we don't quite. It's open anyway. Yes. Right? It's linked to it anyway. Mm. The only reason that I would consider turning it off is you get hit by way more spam. Okay. So on. so let's go back to Quinn. So Quinn isn't yeah. actually a student at our school. No, no so, idea where Quinn's so from. We don't know where Quinn's from. Yeah. And so Quinn has seen this piece of work and yeah. he's commented, or he or she's yeah. commented. How did your daughter feel about that? Um, well, I mean, she's um, uh. she's that's all she said. <laughs> Had a lot of fun making <laughs> things up. Um, yeah. Surprisingly, I'm going to be very, very honest with you, given this is for research, no one you're as excited as I am as her dad and the tech coach. Quite yeah. blase. Like, oh, yeah. I know, they're more connected than like, what oh, they think. Oh, look, 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 look. I don't think they perhaps see the significance of other students learning from their learning experiences. No, I know, they, they don't. Yes. And it's it's really surpri uh, it's surprising. It surprises me. Great. Okay, so we've talked about that. Now let's talk a little bit about scaffolding. Okay, so obviously they, your your daughter and other students, they don't just naturally become reflectors, do they? And they don't naturally go and decide mm -hmm. how to write comments. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure it's it's modelled yeah. um, extensively by the teacher. Yeah. You know we've got a whole YouTube channel on all of this stuff, right? You do actually, so I will okay. put that link into the whole YouTube channel. But, so, but our teachers, so the, do we have any protocols at WAB about about that or is it just something yeah we, well it's not a pro, mm. pro we have guidelines i mean that, mm. and that's what we help the teachers work mm. with and develop and but basically you know the things very common is the two stars and a wish ah oh, yes know, i forget about that yes that two stars kind of thing, and a wish. Right? Yeah. yes yeah for comments um and then there's another one that's really really commonly used which is escape you know there's two really really common mm. ones two stars and a wish and something else and if you go into some classrooms, you'll see on the wall they have you know good mm. comments are and mm. there'll be guidelines and um, protocols mm. and Templates almost for making a comment. Fun. I'm not convinced on those. I question their authenticity. I think that, uh, and I think as the students get older, and they le learn to see the value of learning from each other. But at the moment, I not. You're right. Yeah. If it's forced, and we're yeah. yeah. And the other thing that mm. you'll hear a lot of teachers say, mm. I think without thinking, you know, my kids are hopeless at commenting. They just say awesome post. Look, I'm sorry, if you've got Quinn from you just those awesome post and I spent hours doing something and everyone else didn't even leave a comment. I'd rather have a oh, comment. Oh, right. There's it's no it's such thing as a bad comment. Exactly. It's yeah. a shame that we can't see how many visitors visited that page. There's no, you know, maybe... We, we can, actually. Track. We track all that. I guess we could, couldn't yeah. we? We had 1.5 million page views this year so far. But so individual it? posts. Yeah, individual posts. Yeah. Ooh, that would yeah. Be good, I'm not sure we can do that. I have to ask... Let's okay. just let's just wrap this up with one yep. final question. Is um, okay. So, language is a really important thing in our school and uh -huh. we, because we're yep. many of our students are bilingual or trilingual or multilingual, like you are, Phil. I mm -hmm. think we're, we're very bilingual, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> so can we look <laughs> at the Chinese? Yeah. Can we look at the Chinese? Okay. So this is quite funky, isn't it? Okay, yes. So. This is um, mm -hmm. well, very extremely well used by our Chinese department. Mm -hmm. Um, this one's broken. I think that's the old. That's one of the missing okay, YouTube mind. videos. Yeah. But there is lots of um, obviously because WordPress or the technology doesn't care what language you're writing in, mm -hmm. uh, and then it also means that children whose parents or grandparents, whose English isn't their first language, can also um, you know participate. So we got a comment here. I think this was from her mum, but there are also, and that's the comment from mum there, mm -hmm. and. Um, it's been translated. Yeah, you know what? I I think it might just be my Google doing that. My Chrome, sorry. Okay, or well, Mum has translated it. No, look at Mother C of the more confused. Oh, which is, perhaps yeah. it is. Yeah, it's an auto. It's like an auto translation going on there. But even so, that's that's. Great. But what's cool? Yeah, I can now. Yes. And this is something we've developed this Showing, year. Is yeah. Don't don't put it in a PDF, teachers. Yes. They, they, it's an image. It's a screenshot. Yes. But what they do now is they just type it in directly, right? Right. So, as dad, mm. I copy that, yes. I go to Google Translate, Great. and I can get an idea of what she's doing, and it's, you know, really, really cool. Because your Chinese isn't quite up to that. Not quite up to that. I'm Almost. fairly sure that that's one, but <laughs> after that, I've lost. That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you for uh, sharing all of that. And, um, that's okay. 
And I'm sure we'll be back with more questions.